Hello everybody, welcome to Chin Fat. In this episode I'm going to show you how to manipulate, to, to find and manipulate the uh, effects that are already, that, that come native on each individual video clip. When you select a video clip down, down your timeline and you move up here and hit your effects controls window, this shows all the effects that are natively added to these clips, uh, to any video clip that you, uh, any video clip or, or photo or a bit of media that you import into Premiere. Uh, up here we've got the motion tab. We've got three tab. We've got three drop downs up here. We've got the motion drop down, the opacity drop down, and the time remapping. And we're going to basically be covering this one right here, the motion one, and how to affect these features of your clip. I'm going to arrow down, and you're going to see under motion you have position, scale, rotation, anchor point, and anti flicker filter. The ones that we're going to be mainly covering are position, scale, rotation, and anchor point. Right here, position, you'll notice it's got, over here to the side, it's got some coordinates already programmed into this clip. It's got uh, your x-axis and your y-axis. All right, so on the first one here, position, you're going to notice two numbers to the right of the of, of its position. And you see 960 by 540. First of all, what I've got here is my timeline is a 1920 by 1080 timeline. And I want to keep one thing to keep in that the resolution of this footage was actually a bit higher. It was 4800 by 2700. So it's a, it is higher resolution footage that's been squeezed down into a 1920 by 1080 timeline because that's the output that we're doing is the 1920 by 1080. So what you get the where you get this position right here is you get 960 is basically half of the 1920 of the of the x-axis here. And then you have 540 which is basically half the resolution, half the amount of pixels as the 1080. So there's 1920 by 1080. So basically what this is doing is it's going 960 pixels over and that's where the center point of this image is here and 540 up and down uh, is halfway point point up and down and you get this clip which is just basically centered that's so that's where you get these numbers from on position is it's basically half your resolution it's half the resolution over and half the resolution down and then you get your midpoint and that's where uh, this clip is centered one way to move this clip here is if I move it up to position and I click left click on this and I just start to drag I hold down my mouse and I start to drag it is now changing its horizontal position in fact if I just move up here and click on this and type in 1920 That'll basically move it over to 1,920 pixels over to the side here. So now that center point of this clip is moved right to there. Same here if I go 1080. From the top to the bottom, it's moved this down 1,080 pixels and puts it right here in the center point of the image. And at these center points here, I'm going to go over to my uh, reset and reset that there. But just keep in mind as you grab this here and you drag it to the left or right, it's going to move that clip on your on your canvas over here. And if I grab this and move it up and down, it's going to move that up and down. So I'm going to reset that. But that's how those numbers basically work. We also have scale here. Scale is basically how the clip can shrink or grow. I'm going to grab this here and I'm going to drag it to the right. You'll notice the clip grows. And especially since this is 4800 resolution uh, and we're using 1920 by 1080 timeline, we can zoom up on this probably about 250% before you really start noticing a quality loss. I'm going to put that back to 100. Notice if you drag it to the left, it shrinks. If you drag it to the right, it grows. If you want to position this on a certain part of the screen, you can shrink it down, move it over to the left, and move it up or down and get it positioned on screen. I'm going to reset these parameters here. You also have uniform scale underneath the scale here. If you uncheck this, if this is checkmarked, that means your horizontal and your vertical pixels will move, will, will scale at the same rate, and it keeps it in proportion. If you have this unchecked and you start scaling, uh, watch what happens. It starts stretching vertically or horizontally. It's just affecting the width or the height. I'm going to reset the entire motion tab here, get it all back to normal, and we move down to rotation. Rotation basically rotates the clip. If you grab this and drag it to the right, notice your clip rotates. If you drag it to the left, it rotates to the left, and there you go. Let's reset that. And the last little part here is anchor point. Anchor point is kind of important when you just decide to start scaling things. Anchor point determines how your position, scale, and rotation react when you start changing these numbers. Right now, the anchor point is just in the middle of the actual clip. If I select that there, you'll notice this is your anchor point right there in the middle. So everything kind of moves around that. And right here, you have 2400 by 30, 1350. What that basically is, is since this is a 4K image that's been squeezed down, it's 4800. Uh, this is basically half of 4800, and this is half of 2700. So it's 20, that your anchor point is 
2700 pixels over so your anchor point is basically so your anchor point is basically 1350 pixels down and 2400 pixels across this is a 4k image but it's a position on screen since it's been squeezed down to a 9 to 20 by 1080 image is 960 and 540 half of 1920 by 1080 a little confusing but anyway but watch what happens as we grab our anchor point and we change this as we move it around you'll notice the numbers change over here we move it down here and you'll notice the position is uh, is changing as well because the position is is relative to the anchor point. If I grab this and I drag it, I'm going to get it down near the corner here. I'm going to drag it down here. I'm going to hold down Control or Command on a Mac. And what that's going to do is magnetize the anchor point to the corner. Now my anchor point's there. Now watch what happens as we scale this. Notice it scales based on that anchor point there. It scales out from that anchor point and scales into that anchor point. If we change this, if we grab this anchor point and we move it right there, now it's going to scale, let's move it up a little bit, like right here. Now it's going to scale based on that anchor point. It's like putting a pin through that paper right there, and as you grow, it like uh, it grows around that anchor point, coming out from that anchor point. If I undo that, uh, let's move it up in this top right-hand corner. Hold on Control so it locks up there. Watch what happens when we, when we rotate. It rotates around that anchor point. So basically, these three features, your rotation, scale, and position, uh, will react differently depending on where the anchor point exists. I'm going to reset this whole thing here. And let's show you an easier way of manipulating these features now, your motion features, your position, scale, rotation, and anchor point. Basically, while I have a clip selected, you can go up to your effects control tab and you go to the motion tab and you click on this little wireframe icon right here. Click on that. And what it does is it puts a wireframe with nodes around your clip. And you can basically change all these items that we did here just by moving your mouse over inside your in this area here and now we can visually grab these nodes and we can drag them and it will shrink you can grab any one of these nodes and it will shrink you can move your mouse up to the corner here as if you go on the outside corner right here right there you can grab this and you can rotate so we showed you how to change your scale but look at this little symbol here it helps you to rotate and then we can basically just paint, change position by moving the mouse in the middle of the clip anywhere and grabbing it and moving it and you can have access to all these features by turning on your wireframe. And then here's your anchor point. Let's move that down here. Hold down control, move it into the corner, and now we'll rotate a little bit and it rotates around that anchor point. So now if we want to create like a little picture in picture, what we can do, let's do this. I'm gonna clear this, all my parameters. I'm gonna move it in my timeline. I'm gonna grab a couple clips and pile these on top, stack these on top. And stack three on top there. I'm gonna select the top one. This top layer, the hierarchy works this in this order from top to bottom this is going to be in front of everything else if I uh, go up and grab this if I go up and hit my wireframe and I grab this and move it you're going to see below it the footage that's below it, which is this middle clip right here if I select that and hit my wireframe and I move that to the side you're going to see the, the video behind that which is this one right here so let me move those back to normal control Z control Z undo that all I'm going to select my top clip and I'm going to hit my wireframe and I'm going to grab up here grab this node and drag it down I'm going to move this down here. I'm going to grab the next one, hit my wireframe, and move this, make it about that big, put it right there. I'm going to select this one, hit my wireframe, and bring the size down on that thing. And then if we want to do a cheesy little rotate, let's make this one rotated, move that up, rotate it. There we go. So we've done a little composite here, and if we play through that, all the video is going to play at the same time. And there we go. And those are the basics of how your motion tab works with these native effects that you'll find inside of Premiere Pro. On the next episode, I'm going to be showing you how to actually animate these attributes.